The next thing we're going to want to be able to do is to come up with names for all of our alkanes. And there's a simple naming uh, system that's based off the number of carbons in the hydrocarbon. Uh, the first couple you kind of just have to memorize. There's not a really um, a systematic way to name them. But uh, the first hydrocarbon, of course, is CH4, one carbon. And it has a, the name of methane. Um, the second carbon is uh, C2. H6 or CH3, CH3. And that is ethane. As you can see, uh, each of the alkanes or each of these uh, hydrocarbons end with A N E. And that is to indicate that they're all alkanes, they contain only carbon and only hydrogen and then also only contains single bonds. All right. The next uh, hydrocarbon is propane, so that'd be C3H8 or CH3, CH2, CH3. And then once you get past ethane, you can also start using the uh, structural formula, excuse me, skeletal formula to start drawing these. So propane would look like this with one inflection point. So we got one, two, three carbons, and then we can figure out how many hydrogens are on that. So that's propane. Again, ending with A and E to indicate that it's all carbons, all hydrogens, and uh, all single bonds. All right, four is C4H10, and that is, uh, Butane. So I'll just go straight to the uh, skeletal formation. One, two, three, four carbons, and that is butane. So methane, ethane, propane, and butane are our first four hydrocarbons. And after that, it actually uh, starts to make a little bit of sense on how we name the hydrocarbons. So five hydrocarbons is uh, C5H12. Okay, I had to think about that for a little bit, but there's a quick way to uh, remember that. The number of hydrogen for alkanes is always um, two times the number of carbons plus two. Number of hydrogens um, equals the number of carbons times 2 plus 2. So 5 times 2 is 10 plus 2 is 12. Okay. All right, so that is 5 carbons. So we can draw the skeletal formula 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And that is pentane. And so now we're going to start to use a prefix for our A and E that tells you how many carbons there are. So there's 5 carbons. I think uh, pentagon in terms of geometry, penta is five, so pentane is five carbons. Next we've got hexane coming in at six carbons, so six times two is 12, plus two is 14, C6, H14, one, two, three, four, five, six, hexane. Uh, C7, the carbon with uh, hydrocarbon with seven carbons, would be heptane, C7H16, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, heptane. Uh, we'll do a couple more, we'll go up to 10. So C8H18 is octane, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, and that is the primary component of gasoline, octane, this hydrocarbon. C9 is nonane. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one more, nine, nonane. And then last will be 
um, decane with 10 carbons. So C10, H22, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 decane. And if we want to, uh, just for fun, we could write the, the condensed formula for this. This would be CH3, CH2, 8, CH3. And we did that previously. So after uh, methane, ethane, propane, and butane, we start to use prefixes that make a little bit more sense. Pentane, hexane, heptane, octane, nonane, and decane. These are known as uh, straight chain um, alkanes because, of course, all of the carbons uh, line up in a row in a straight chain. But it turns out we can also have branched alkanes. Okay, so right here we can sort of take off this one carbon. And so now we have one, two, three, four, five, five carbons. So this is pentane. Well, we can actually have, instead of this carbon bonded to only hydrogens, it can actually be bonded to another hydrocarbon, such as this molecule. Okay, so this is a branched hydrocarbon. Straighten up so it looks better in the camera a little bit. So we've got a branched hydrocarbon. Um, now, uh, you can see that we have uh, one, two, three, four, five carbon still so it turns out that these are isomers of each other uh, the branch and the straight chain forms of the carbons that i just showed just showed they have the same structural formula or excuse me same molecular formula but different structural formula meaning they're put together a little bit differently okay so when we have that scenario where we have a hydrocarbon coming off of our straight chain hydrocarbon. These are called branched alkanes. All right, and we could um, draw them using skeletal formulas as well. So I'm drawing this one, two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And then I have one carbon coming off of the second carbon. And so that is the branched hydrocarbon. And of course, we would want to um, name this hydrocarbon. And so what we're going to do is that the, uh, the hydrocarbon that's coming off as a branch, we're going to label that as a group. And the name of this uh, side chain is, stems from its alkane name. So by itself, one hydrocarbon it was called methyl, right? Or excuse me, methane. Getting a little head up myself. So when it is a side chain, we change the name to methyl. All right. And so this is a methyl group on this one, two, three, four, five pentane hydrocarbon. And so we need to name this um, using that uh, sort of prefix, methyl. We also need to tell you where the methyl group is. And so what we're going to do is we're going to number the hydrocarbons. So this first one is number one, two, three, four, five. So each carbon gets a number and then we're going to use that numbering system to tell you where that methyl group is. So the methyl group, that CH3 group, is on the second hydrocarbon so this molecule will be named 2-methyl-1,2,3,4,5-pentane. One, two, pen, 2-methyl-pentane. And so that way we can distinguish it from this molecule, where instead of that methyl group on the second hydrocarbon, maybe it's on the third. And so we could move this around, take this molecule off, and put it down here instead. So now we've got this molecule. Before this methyl was right there, now it's in the middle. And so now we need to name this as one, two, three, four, five. So now it is three 
methyl pentane. And usually you put dashes in between the, the numbers and the letters. Okay. Now, we could also uh, have a uh, scenario where instead of the hydrocarbon, the methyl group, excuse me, on the second uh, carbon as we have it here, let's put it over here on the fourth one. Okay, so it's on the fourth one. So I could write this as To draw the skeletal structure as um, like this. So we might think that these two molecules, the purple one and the green one, are different because the uh, methyl group is on the second hydrocarbon, and in this case it's on the fourth. But it turns out that they're not. They're not different molecules. They're actually the same molecules, and hopefully you'll be able to see that if I just flip this over. And suddenly, now that methyl group is on the second carbon. Yes, I know, I just blew your mind. It was on the fourth, now it's on the second, and so, but pretty much we know that this is the same molecule, it's the same molecule sitting here, okay? So, um, the way we could make sure that this is the same molecule is that we always have to number uh, the side chains with the lowest number possible. If you think about it, there's two ways I could number this molecule. I could number it, number it from left to right, so that would be one, two, three, four, five. Okay, and so we might think that it's four methyl pentane. Or I could number it from right to left. One, two, three, four, five. And so if I number it, if I number it with the blue, that would be two methyl. Okay, and I always have to use the lowest number, and so this is 2-methylpentane, and that's how I can always make sure, no matter how I write something, it would always end up as the same um, uh, compound. All right, so these two molecules are the same. These two are different molecules. There's no way I could have rearranged this to make it look exactly like this. Um, the top one, and so that's why these molecules are, are called isomers. Okay, they have the same exact molecular formula, same number of carbons and hydrogens, but they have different structures, different structural formulas. They're put together differently. So those, those are called isomers or structural isomers.